guys, it is VBids and welcome back to another video. So we're going to start this video with some epic treasure hunter. Now I don't actually know what the blue star does, but I'm going to quickly, I always use the top right hunt, top right one, botanist masks, um, herbal XP, alright, that's cool. <laughs> um, and we've got some prismatic stars. But today, I'm just going to kind of be a little chill back video, I just want to have a little chat to you guys about a few things, and uh, you know, what's been going on and what's coming up in my, my life in a few days, I guess. Um, but firstly, if you haven't checked out the quick, like the quick equipment tab, I think it is the first load, whatever, um, just have to load it with this. So for example, if you're wearing like full dragon or something, and then you've got stuff in your inventory, all you have to do is wear it and then save it as a preset. And then as soon as you go into your bank, so either save it as preset one or two, you can just go into your bank and you can click it and it does it for you. So how cool is that? So I'm going to start this video with, oh yeah, so that's pretty sick, eh? I didn't have to press anything, so I'm just going to be jumping into some ports right now, um, you know, because I've been trying to get my full Tetsu, because I'm reasonably close, I've got the helmet, and I've got the player body, I just need to work on the legs right now. Okay, so I've just sent my ports away, and I've just pulled out everything from my bank, but now I need to go back to Demonheim to do my um, daily challenges, and that's obviously the Dungeoneering one. Now, every day I've been doing sinkholes twice a day, as well as doing the 150k um, challenge it every day. So I've got 3 million Dungeoneering XP right now. Um, and I'm going to quickly go through and complete this floor really, really fast. Shout out to Last Man Owned for giving me a grass on my max cape. Really appreciate that, big fella. And there was a few people that missed out on getting my max cape. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be making a video very, very shortly um, of, you know, the compilation of basically, well, everything... Well, all the clips and stuff that I've got up leading up to the Max Cape, because I started going for the, well, I started going for the Max Cape, um, you know, probably, what's it, uh, probably halfway through last year, I'd say, like, properly going for it, but, you know, up until that point, I kind of just logged on every day and got some XP, uh, like I did just then with Dungeoneering, but now I'm going to head over to the Libid Farm, and basically, you know, try and get some more points for Libid Farm, because I haven't really had that much time to, you know, log on RuneScape lately and get some Livid Farm, you know, uh, get some Livid Farm produce points because I've been busy. And I've also made another account. Well, I haven't made another account. I've had another account for a very long time. It's about probably, well, it'd be about um, five years, five or six years old right now. And it's my secondary account because when I was a lower level, I would have my um, main account, which is this account that I'm playing on right now. And I would have a lower level account. Now, with the lower level account, I would be like, it'd be a free to play PK because it was never, never member. Oh, never, never, never member, but it was never members. And that was because basically I just, I just only wanted to have one account maximum. So I thought like two accounts would be like super nerdy, whatever. But now I don't really mind. So I actually got membership on my other account and it was only like 25 or $26 for three months. So on that account, what I'm going to be doing is, um, I'm basically just going to be uh, training that on uh, 07 scape. So I thought, you know, I'm getting completion this cape on this account and it's very, very repetitive. As you'll notice, like you see the stuff that I'm doing on screen right now. Um, and this guy's doing push-ups. I don't know what he's doing. But basically, you'll see Livid Farm is very, like, it's click intensive, but it's um, it can be quite boring as well. And I'll show you how many progress points. I haven't really made that much progress. I'm currently on 194,000, so that's another... Um, that's another like 600,000 produce points to get, or yeah, about 650,000 produce points to get until I can get the livid farm, you know, the livid farm requirement out of the way. But you know, I thought if I made a second account members, I'd be able to play old school and basically train up a main account in old school while training my uh, main account and trying to get the completion escape on RS3. So if you guys want any some like any sort of progress video on my 07 account, I'm not sure if you guys would be interested in that uh, because you know this this channel is primarily for RuneScape and primarily for you know RuneScape 3 because I believe you know a lot of you guys play RS3. But if if some of you play 07 and want to see sort of a video on 07 on some progress and things, because uh, I'm currently just doing quests. Now, a lot of, you know, a big mistake people make when they're low level on 07 is they don't quest. And I'm currently level 30 and I've been, only been playing for two days. And that's just from solid questing. So, you know, if you're playing 07 and you don't, you barely have any quest points, you know, it's very, very worthwhile to get those quests going. Um, you know, whether it's making a pure or whether it's making a main account, just make sure you get those quests done because it can help you out in the long run. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see some 07 videos because I'll be more than happy to bring that stuff to you. I was thinking of perhaps making some 
um, some quest guides and things because I've currently I like I recorded the waterfall quest because it gets you 30 attack and 30 strength as soon as you start playing and you know that's an instant adamant um, scimitar and then you know you just train at rock crabs to level 40 and you've already got your own scimitar I've been playing for like a day or two um, so that's one way to get your strength and attack to level 40 um, <clears throat> but that's my mate that's my other account it's it's only had like two days progress on it but on my VVs account, however, I've got like 60 attack and 55 strength and I've done a bunch of other quests because I was originally going to make this a PKR, but now I made the other account, like I said just before, so I can basically do Livid Farm and get our progress on 07 as well. Because the th fun thing about 07 is there's more things on that game, in my opinion, that like is much more rewarding. And don't get me wrong, if I'm going to be doing Virago and, uh, you know, a bunch of other bosses on this account um, and with Completion Escape, because obviously Completion Escape is a very good achievement in itself. If I can manage to get uh, on 07, if I can get like 70 defense, like 70 base stats, and I can go to God Wars, and if I get like a Bando's Hilt or a Bando's Item Piece, I just think that would be a lot more rewarding than... Um, you know, just going to, like, next or something and getting one of those drops, because I don't necessarily need um, a lot of money now, considering I'm maxed. But, you know, if I went to Virago and got a Seismic or something, which is, like, I believe it's a hell of a lot of money, I would be very happy. Um, but with 07, it just seems to be there's more rewarding aspects to that game at, the, at this stage um, than RS3. But don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be playing RS3, producing videos for you guys, because I really am enjoying this. And since I made, like, two videos ago, I think... Since my two videos ago, I've gained like eight subscribers, so I do welcome everyone. Um, you know, if this is one of the first videos you're watching, hopefully you enjoy this one. And you know, hit that subscribe button, but now I'm kind of just rambling around. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this sort of like vlog, I guess, video. I just want to kind of update you on what I've been up to. But you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video.